evening prayer on Saturday the 8th of August. In returning and rest you shall be saved. In quietness and in trust shall be your strength. For all the good I have seen and done today, I give thanks. For all my sins and omissions, I ask pardon. For all whom I pray, I claim protection. Some verses from Psalm 91. If you dwell under the shelter of the Most High and abide in the shadow of God of heaven, you need not be afraid of any terror of the night or trouble that goes about in the darkness. God says, those who love me, I will rescue. I will protect those who know my name. When they call out to me, I will answer them. I will be with them in trouble. I will deliver them and treat them with honour. With length of days, I will satisfy them and I will show them my salvation. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of Luke. In peace I will lie down and sleep, for you alone, O God, make me dwell in confidence. Master, now you are letting your servant go, according to your word, in peace. For mine own eyes have seen your salvation, for which you have prepared in the sight of all peoples, a light of revelation for the nations, and glory for your people, Israel. In peace I will lie down and sleep, for you alone, O God, make me dwell in confidence. Let us pray. Christ with me sleeping, Christ with me waking, Christ with me watching every day and night. May we hold in our heart all those in hospital with coronavirus. In particular, we pray for Christine from our St John's congregation. We pray for Kevin, her husband, and for all her family. We give thanks for the doctors and nurses and all the emergency services. We pray that there is a vaccine available soon. May we follow in the light of your love and spread your hope. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever Amen. And may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.